Well, today, an ex-employee of Ubisoft has now given us some information about why Ubisoft and most of the big budget studios are turning their backs against the social stealth in Assassin's Creed games. And well, like I said, this information is basically coming from Patrice DeSellet, who was a former Ubisoft developer for Assassin's Creed series. And according to him, he basically explains that the reason why big budget studios are turning their backs against social stealth is because of money. And if I could just guess I would say the reason why they might most probably do it is because they don't want to hire these guys who basically do parkours and want to motion capture all those things and social stealth and whatnot and then program each and every one of your players movements and all those stuff into the game which is a big hectic job to be honest and of course like Patris has now finally come out and mentioned what is the reason it's basically because of the money and especially if you take a look at the recent graphs and charts of how the new Assassin's Creed games have been selling then you would probably know that Assassin's Creed Odyssey, Origins, as well as Assassin's Creed Valhalla is one of the most highest sold games in the entire Assassin's Creed history. And according to Patris, he basically says that, well, Ubisoft loves to make different changes. And this time around, they made a huge change with Assassin's Creed, the way the game works, the mechanics, the parkour system, even the social stealth system, which is completely ignored from the game. But the guys on Ubisoft's higher ups were not really agreeing to this statement. They really did not want this to happen with Assassin's Creed games. They basically want and more of an RPG style which doesn't really require any kind of motion captures in terms of how your player movements works because of course that takes a lot of budget out of the pocket in order to make these games and at the same time it is a lot of work especially since they're making an open world RPG game which is massive and has a lot of content and having all of those things in a game at the same time having these parkour social stealth and different player movements is basically going to cost Ubisoft a lot of money and especially after they've seen what Assassin's Creed Odyssey Origins as well as Valhalla did and if you guys didn't know this already Valhalla was the most highest sold Assassin's Creed game up till now and in the article he also kind of mentioned that the only way that you can actually make these AAA industries understand start raising their voice against it and letting the companies know that this is not okay and until that point this is still going to continue and I really hope that for the next Assassin's Creed game hopefully Ubisoft considers adding parkour social stealth I mean Valhalla did kind of have the social stealth system but then if i have to be honest though the social stealth in this game was pretty much ineffective in kind of a way but still i really hope that they go back all the way to what assassin's creed one brotherhood and all those kind of evergreen games basically created and if you compare these games with the recent assassin's creed games i honestly think that old games were actually much better now obviously we have more content more rpg and stuff like that in the new games when it comes to mechanics how the player fights the runs and in all these parker systems then i would say that hands down the older assassin's Assassin's Creed games were way better and the only way that we can let Ubisoft know that this is not right we want the parkour systems and the old mechanics back but at the same time also have something different mix in with the new mechanics and you know have that RPG element in the game so we have more content but at the same time we don't end up missing that Assassin's Creed flavor into the game so the only way we can do this is by basically just letting them know so please mention down below in the comments people because a ton of developers from Ubisoft actually watch my videos and they've been commenting about the stuff I've been doing lately basically talking about how I rant about their games and whatnot but still I would love to know what you guys think so please make sure to go ahead drop your comment so they can read it and most probably they could understand that this is what the community wants and now that I am also part of the community I'm making videos for Assassin's Creed the only thing I want for this game is to be better I want nothing but this game to be successful and succeed in the coming futures like the youtuber Jonathan basically leaked out saying that the next Assassin's Creed game is going to be releasing the year 2020 too, then I really hope that Ubisoft considers adding all of these older mechanics into the game and the only way we can make that happen is if we as a community come together. So basically what I'm saying is that make sure you guys go ahead comment down below in this video so they can basically read it. So yeah I just wanted to quickly go ahead make this video so I can let the community know what I'm personally thinking. At the same time I just came across this article which was really interesting that I wanted to share with you guys about what is basically happening with Ubisoft Assassin's Creed because that is what I cover on my channel every single day. So if at all you guys are looking for a YouTube channel that covers everything you basically need about Assassin's Creed as well as all the upcoming open world games and at the same time I do not drag my videos all the way to 10 minutes long. I love to keep my videos as short as possible as informative as possible so I don't really end up wasting a lot of your time with all of these dumb ads being shown in the videos. So if that is something you guys do enjoy then make sure to go ahead smack that subscribe button turn the notifications on and set the notifications to all because if you guys don't do that then the broadcast YouTube platform 
platform, man. It just doesn't send you guys the notifications of my daily videos. So make sure you guys do it. And also smack that like if you want to support my videos. With that being said, I hope you guys have a blast of a day. And I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Until then, take it easy, fams, and goodbye.